Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So I actually went back and looked through my poem creations and I noticed that when I picked some words, the characters bounce. So I think that gave an indentation or indication that each word or you know actually pertains to each character. And so I'm a little scared right now if I choose a word that might pertain to a Sayori. I'm just a little uh, scared right now of uh, something popping up at, at me. That's all. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's see. All right. Joy. Alright, so Joy seems to be for her. Joy. Climax. Ribbon. Okay, ribbon for her. Milk. Okay. Sticky. Oh, for her. Okay. Frightening. Okay. Hmm. Silly. Okie dokie. Tears. Okay, hmm. Handy. Hmm. Empty? Aw. Shiny? Okay. Extreme. Um, heart. Freshen. Wheat. Graveyard. Anime. Hmm. Misfortune. Color. Starscape. And I also noticed something. A big giveaway, I actually literally noticed uh, that Monica isn't in as isn't there as a chibi. It's she's not there. Her sticker is not there at all. Only only Sayori's was. Um that Yori's was, uh, Monica, not Monica, sorry, um, Natsuki's and Yuri's. Oh, okay. Oh. So I, I was trying to figure out the pattern with, with the words I chose, but it seems like it's kind of random. Like, just one after the other, it seems, and, oh. Alright. Hi, Ken, hi, Ken, Capgooey. Glad to see you didn't run away on us, ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Whoa, hi. Thanks for keeping your promise, Kev Gooey. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Okay, I am starting to freak the heck out. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh my gosh, I literally thought she was just some... Not too may have a big mouth to... She's in front of the text box. Anyway. Until you find yourself stuck between, say, Monica and Manga. Whoa, okay, I noticed that. Manga's literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Kabgui, but make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. 
Like you said, I'm, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Ooh. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, no, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to be... I want to try to be a part of this club. Oh, man. You know what's in my head right now? Which is why I can't really concentrate at the moment. Like, I'm thinking of two things at once. Is the, it's the fact that... Is there Was there a way to... To, uh... Do not have Sayuri do what did what she did. Oh my gosh, that's that's bugging me so badly. I don't know. Oh. But anyways, game's uh, game's a little freaking out though. That's that's the thing I'm scared about now. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches in her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, but picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th th this is, how's this girl accidentally being so cute? You even picked out a book that she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. Enthusiastically took the book. Whew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect the monitor to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Jerry's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. Ah! Here Natsuki uttered an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Yeah, and anything weird? Uh, you know, like a like a you know girl in there or something? Cause I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm. Whew. Whoa, okay. Uh, King Monica. Never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah. Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Here he is, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. He then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? A series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. He points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Kevgui. Enter the- Oh, don't judge a book 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 by its cover. Oh, okay. In fact... As you can pull out the first volume profit girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. No, 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 I'm afraid. I'm afraid to see. Dumps the book right into my hands. Ah. They're at the cover. Features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's excitingly moe. Exceedingly. Don't just stand there. Wah! He grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. He then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. He pats on the ground next to her, signaling to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Eh, why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Eh, don't just say that. It make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. 
I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I opened the book. It's only a, half, a few seconds before Natsuki wants to get an inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes that it won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I finish reading the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Ah, uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life air. Affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring you for you? It's not. Oh. Yeah, every time I, ha I see an image change, I, I I'm expecting a glitch in the game. Just gonna appear and spook the hinky dinky out of me. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something like you, something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean. Huh? Hmm? You don't? Um. Well, that, that spooked me. Her eyes moving like that because I'm just, I'm just focused. I saw them in the peripheral of my vision. Oh. That's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Would you share your manga with your friends? Can I rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. Can't even bring it up with them without them being all like, Hey, you still haven't grown out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't budge. Don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't, I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat this shit out of me if he found this. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. God. I think I think I know where this is going. Oh god. I think this is going to do it to a dark dark place. Dark, 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 dark place. Um. Uh. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going towards uh, physical abuse, domestic abuse, abuse uh, from her father. Um. Towards uh, her. Oh, this is this is not good. Oh, I'm 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 freaking out. I'm freaking out because something spooky's gonna happen. That's the freak out I'm happening, and and what she's gonna uh. You know, share with us. Yeah. Okay. Scared. I'm literally scared. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. Everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Bye. -bye.